I'm going to go over uh, each of these skills. So I'll do a few examples for each one so you can um, see how I can model them using Desmos to kind of help you with some of the factoring things you may have not used before. So we start with factoring trinomials. A equals one. Now on each skill, it'll tell you how many you need to have. So you need to have 10 of these correct to be able to get full credit for it. Um, I don't take any points off for getting it wrong, and I give usually give you a few chances on each problem. Um, but if you use up all your chances, it'll just throw a new problem at you, which you can try again. So the goal for factoring is you want to be able to um, come up with with the trinomials that don't have a number in front of x squared basically two groups that would multiply to that and they're going to start with an x and you have to think of two numbers that multiply here to the last term but also add to 11. so you can think about all right they got to multiply to 18 and add to 11. what two numbers would work and if you do some trial and error you know you're going to get um, nine and two right positive nine and positive two um, let me show you also on here what you can do with a graph. So if you have, let's say you put the original expression x squared plus 11x plus 18, or whatever you have. You know on the graph you can get the zeros. Notice the zeros are negative 9 and negative 2. So in, thinking about that logic there, that, that means one of my factors is going to be x plus 9. Because remember, the zero and the factor have opposite signs. So going over here, um, negative 2, one of the other factors is going to be x plus 2. So if you put those together, you'll notice you have a new graph that overlaps the original graph. So those, those two would multiply to give you 11, or x squared plus 11x plus 18. You see how that blue gives you the exact same thing. So in your answer box, you'll want to do parentheses. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but you want to do x plus 9, close parentheses, and then do another open parentheses, x plus 2. Uh, And go ahead and click Submit Answer. And there you go. So it'll clear up your, it'll tell you what your, um, your percent completion is for the entire assignment. And then this here will tell you how many of the problems that you mastered before before you should move on to the next skill. So I'll do another one just to kind of uh, emphasize it here. So I have x squared plus 3x minus 70. So let's see. Get that ready and zoom out so you can see where it crosses. Negative 10, positive 7. So that means x plus 10, x minus 7. x plus 10, x minus 7. Those two give you the same graph as this. So that's your answer. And that's that. So remember, on that problem, it'll tell you, you know, um, the that the the negative seven and ten must multiply to negative seventy, which they do, and the negative seven plus ten will add to three, which they also do. So that three there, they add. Um, so that's all for that skill. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that makes sense. And the next video will cover the other skills.